Martelin 3A Mate. Anti-insect paint, anti-mite. Anyway, anti-nuisance. Artelin Let's look at a neuron. This section of an axon shows the organization of the membrane and the molecules that affect sodium permeability. The membranes of the cell are naturally impermeable to sodium because positively charged sodium ions cannot enter the cell because the outside of the cell has a positive charge, while the inside contains negatively charged molecules, such as proteins and metabolic products. However, the sodium channels open and close to allow the entry of sodium found in the axon and postsynaptic membranes leaving the membrane electrically excited. The opening of the synaptic channels of sodium is in response to chemical neurotransmitters and the opening of the axon sodium channels is in response to a negative depolarization on the outside of the axon membrane. The action potential progresses along the axon as a negative wave, allowing the sodium channels to open and the sodium to be diffused into the axon. Behind the action potential, the outside of the axon membrane regains its positive charge when the sodium channels reclose and the sodium pump transports the internal sodium ions to the outside of the axon. In this way, the region of the action potential is propagated along the axon. Let us now see how delta methrin exerts its effect on the axon sodium channels, causing paralysis and death in the insect. Delta methrin interacts with the sodium channels, keeping them open. The open sodium channels allow the sodium ions to continuously enter the axon, producing excessive action potential, followed by a hyper-depolarization of the membrane. Finally, the charge on the axon membrane disappears when the number of ions reaches a state of equilibrium inside and outside the cell. Let's observe these effects at the neuron level. Neurons affected with delta methrin exhibit uncontrolled firing and neurotransmitter release with eventual hyperdepolarization of the membrane and finally a loss of electrical activity. <laughs> 